We can pull the 4 out from underneath the root sign, however, that does mean we need to take the square root of it. So we get 1 half out front, and then square root 2 minus root 2. And that is as far as we can go with sine. For cosine, we know that cosine of pi eighths equals we get the square root one min or plus now cosine of pi fourths. all over 2, which equals the square root of 1 plus root 2 over 2 all over 2. Remember again we can change this 1 to a 2 over 2 so that we can divide by this 2 in the denominator, which gives us 2 plus root 2 all over 4. We can pull the 4 outside of our radical, giving us 1 half and leaving us with root of 2 plus root 2. That's your answer for cosine. And lastly, we want to look at tangent. Again, you can either use your equation for tangent or you can use your knowledge that tangent is sine over cosine. I'll use the equation here. We get tangent pi eighths is 1 minus cosine of pi fourths all over sine of pi fourths, which then equals 1 minus root 2 over 2, all over root 2 over 2. So it's the same as 1 minus root 2 over 2 times 2 over root 2. You get 2 over root 2 minus 1. If I want to rationalize that denominator, first of all I want to combine our fractions. So I get 2 minus root 2 over root 2. I want to rationalize that denominator. So I multiply through by root 2 over root 2. I get 2 root 2 minus 2 all over 2. Factor out these twos from the numerator, which then cancels with the denominator, and I am left with simply root 2 minus 1. And there's your answer for tangent. A little bit of a lengthy process, but it helps us in this next example when we're trying to find an angle such as cosine of 105. We can look at our unit circle. We see that there's no 105, but there is a 210 degrees. So let's go back. We see that cosine of 105 degrees is going to equal root 1 plus cosine of 210 degrees all over 2. Cosine of 210 is, let's see, negative root 3 over 2. This gives us 1 minus root 3 over 2 over 2, all square rooted. Again, I'm going to change this 1 into a 2 over 2, so that we can write this as 2 minus root 3 all over 4, square rooted. Factor out, or pull out that 4 from underneath the radical. Get 1 half square root 2 minus root 3. There's my final answer.